In this video I show you a few stretches and exercises you can do following a knee dislocation. Always follow what your doctor or physio tells you as well as what your body is telling you. Physio can test your strength and weakness in your leg muscles and give you specific exercises you should do. You should not feel pain while doing these. I normally do 3 sets of 10 each, but if you can't do that many yet, that's fine. You can pause each movement before moving on to the next. First, are stretches for range of motion. For an isometric knee extension, sit on the floor and place a towel under your knee. Push your knee down into it, and see if you can activate the muscle and contract your quads. You may remember this in the video about getting a straight leg to start bending. Next, try a quad stretch as shown. You probably want to find something stable to hang onto to keep your balance and try this gently. Finally, you can stretch your hamstrings by putting one leg in front of you like this. The next three exercises are more for strength. They are ones I have always been given at physical therapy and then there's some additional I have done occasionally. Let's do some straight leg raises. Here you focus on tightening the quad and lifting the leg. He does this while sitting up, I have always been a fan of leaning back. When that becomes easy try adding ankle weights. Again, aim for 3 sets of 10 with these exercises. Next are ball squeezes for hip adductors. Take a child's kickball, or a slightly squishy medium sized ball and place between the knees. I have used a folded pillow when I had nothing else. Squeeze the knees together. When you can do that, try a slower, more deliberate move and hold the squeeze for a count of 5. Now here is an exercise for your hip abductors. It's like the clamshell exercise that is done on your side, but you do these on your back. Tie a resistance band in a knot in place as shown. Lean back and move knees apart. When you can do that, try a slower, more deliberate move and a hold. Here are more exercises I don't always do but can be beneficial. You may have done squats before. They are popular because you don't need equipment and they work all the muscles in the thigh. These are freestanding squats. You can also try leaning against a wall with your feet shoulder width apart and sliding down the wall and back up. Or start by squatting over a chair, just touching the chair and back up. Don't bend your knees past your ankles. Step ups are great if you have a stair and hopefully a railing in your home. Stand with one foot on the step above and the other below. Step up 3 seconds down and extend your leg to push up. Next up is an exercise called a bridge. This is a variation using a ball, but I have always done these by themselves, without a ball. Don't be intimidated by the leg press machine. If you do not have access to a leg press, you can position yourself on your back with your feet up and use a resistance band instead. You should position your feet midway, shoulder width apart. To get more quad strength you can try a lower and wider stance also. For even more advanced, you can try single leg presses, in line with your shoulder, always tracking with your toe. This is what I do and how I was taught. If you have any advice, as always, please share so we can all benefit. That's what this is about. I hope this helps and take care.